Hey everyone, I'm just going to make a quick video on questions number 13, 14, and 15 from today's review packet on how to graph a line. So if I have the equation y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 4, I'm first going to identify my slope, which is m, and my y-intercept, which is my b term. Now if we remember the whole y equals mx plus b, that's the equation of a line in slope-intercept form. So for the slope, the m, I'm looking at the number associated with the x, so that's a negative 3 over 2. And then my b is my y-intercept, which is this constant value right here of negative 4. Now my y-intercept, or my b value, is where I begin on the y-axis. So I'm starting at the y-axis right here, and I'm starting at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to put a dot. From there, my slope tells me how to move. Now because it's a negative slope, and slope is rise <clears throat> over run, the top number tells me how much to move either up or down, while the bottom number is always telling me to go to the right. So because this is a negative 3, I'm going down 3, right 2. So from the green dot, I go down 1, 2, 3, right 2, down 1, 2, 3, right 2. Now because I can't go any further from the green dot, my y-intercept, I'm going to work backwards. Instead of going down 3, right 2, I'm going up 1, 2, 3, left 2. Up 1, 2, 3, left 2. Up 1, 2, 3, left 2. And then I'm going to continue on until I reach the end of the graph. From here, I'm going to connect those dots with a solid line, arrows on both sides. And then lastly, I'm going to label my line with the equation y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 4. Now the follow-up question says, is 2 comma negative 7 a solution? A solution is any point that lies on this line y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 4. So I'm going to start at 0, 0, and 2 comma 7, uh, negative 7 means I go right 2, down 1, 2, 3, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's this point right here. So because it lies on the line, we would say yes, it's a solution because it lies on the line. <clears throat> now let's look at the next example where it's y equals 4x plus 1. I'm going to first identify my slope, which is the 4, and then my y-intercept, which is the b, at positive 1. So b for begin, I begin on the y-axis because it's a y-intercept at positive 1. And then my m, my slope, tells me how I'm moving. If you look at the other example, for rise over run, the top number tells us how to move up or down and how many units, and the bottom is always to the right. But because I don't have a denominator, I could always throw my whole numbers over 1 because when I divide by 1, it remains the same number. <clears throat> so because this is positive, I'm moving up 4 and then to the right 1. So from the green dot, I'm going up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, up 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. I can't go any further, so from the green dot, my y-intercept, I'm going to work in reverse. So go down 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1, down 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1. Now from here, I can't go any further, so I'm going to connect those dots with a solid line, arrows on both sides, and then I'm going to label it y equals 4x plus 1. Now you'll notice when you look at those two lines, the one on the left and the one on the right, the one on the right should be more steep because the slope is larger. 4 is greater than 1 and a half, which is 3 over 2. And then for that follow-up question, we have is 2 comma 5 a solution? So I'm going to start at 0, 0. I'm going to locate the point 2, 5. So right 2, up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're talking about this point right there for 2, 5. So the answer for that would be no, it is not a solution because it does not lie on the line. And then lastly, we have number 15. Same concept. I just wanted to go over it because the M is slightly different. And then the bottom says justify algebraically. So first, it does say indicate what the slope and the y-intercept is. 
Reminder, y equals mx plus b. My m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. So the number in front of the x is our m. The number in front of x is a negative sign. Now, just a reminder, if I don't see anything in front of the x, where to use the number 1 because 1 times anything is itself so we don't really use a coefficient of 1 but in this case there's a negative sign in front of the x so the m is negative 1 and then the b value is the constant it's the number by itself which is 6. the b value that y intercept tells me where to begin on the y axis so i'm starting 1 2 3 4 5 6 units up and that M is telling me how to move. I see a whole number, so I'm going to throw that over 1. The negative tells me to go down, the bottom number always to the right. So from that original red dot, that Y intercept, I'm going down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1, all the way till the end of the graph. And then once I go as far as I can to the right, now I could work backwards from the red dot. I go up 1, left 1, up 1, left 1 up one left one. Now from here, I'm going to connect all, the all of those dots with a solid line, arrows on both sides, and I'm gonna label it y equals negative x plus six. Now for the follow-up, it says, then state a solution to the equation. Again, a solution is any of these points that lie on that line. So there's a bunch of different solutions that I could use, but I'm just gonna use this one right here that bold one. That is the point 1, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now for the follow-up, it says show algebraically that 1, comma, 5 is a solution. So I'm going to take my equation y equals negative x plus 6. Every time I see an x, I'm going to replace it with 1. And anytime I see a y, I'm going to replace it with the y coordinate, which is a 5. <clears throat> so y, which is really 5, is equal to negative times x, which is really 1, plus 6. Now on the right-hand side, I could just type that into the calculator all at once, or negative times 1 is negative 1, plus 6. Bring down my 5. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. Because 5 equals 5 is a true statement, it's just justifying algebraically 1, 5 is a solution. Okay, thank you.